Hi, my name is Alan Smith. I'm just going to cover how to connect an NA on VNC to your computer. This diagram just shows the layout I've currently got on my desk. I have a Windows laptop connected via a switch to an NA screen. And also the Windows laptop is connected by a Wi-Fi to a router it's installed next to the NA. I show the IP addresses, the MAC addresses on all devices. I've also shown the manuals I've used. I've also shown the tools that I've used. The latest says Mac version as of April, and also the VNC connector I use to link to the NA. So in order to configure the HMI, um, we bring up the Sysmac Studio tools. This is one I prepared earlier. And here we can see we've got an NA5 version 1.2 device ready to go. Look at the configuration and settings. And in here, I'm gonna look at the HMI settings. And underneath here, the TCP IP, I can see my IP address for port one and my IP address for port two. And then this is gonna to correlate to the network settings I have on my computer. I can see the Wi-Fi address here. And it's details. There's my 192.168.0.100 for the router. And the wired ethernet connection here. You can see there's the 192.168.250.99, which is my IP address for my PC. And again, looking back here, this is where it correlates to the ethernet cable. This is where it correlates to the Wi-Fi router connection. And again, here's my port one, port two. Port one I've set up as address 002. Port two I've set up as address 10. Going back to studio, here's my port one address field. Here's my port two address field. And that's all we do on the, the Ethernet hardware connections. Staying in this section, Go to VNC, and here I have some button tabs. Enable the VNC server, use. It defaults to port 5900. Mode, we have a choice of view only or view and operate. Password, we've got here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then underneath here, we have uh, tabs to disable or enable multiple viewers and tabs to enable and disable a whitelist, i.e. what IP addresses are allowed to communicate to the NA. I currently have that enabled and I've put in my PC address on Ethernet here and my PC address through the router on Wi-Fi here. I also tie up with the MAC address to give it a unique um, connection and any comments we wish to, to fill in here. These fields can then be read by the HMI if you wish. To add any more on the whitelist, just press the plus key. On the HMI, I have two simple pages, which will show me the um, operation of the VNC, how many clients I have online, its address, MAC address, and I have a subroutine in the background that's just incrementing up 
each time the routine is running to collect that data. And then a button to change to another page. A button to return. Running a VNC connection, I can now type in the IP address of port 1 for the NA. 192. 168.250.2 Ask me for the password. 123678. And there I can see a mimic of the uh, the screen online. Telling me I've got one client, i.e. this VNC I've just connected. It's reading its IP address and its MAC address. So the MAC address is a unique number to that, to that chip. And you could use it for, for arbitration if you were doing any sort of high level control or login of users that, uh, that go online to the, to the uh, NA. And I can drive this, uh, set the settings to view and operate. So I can go to page one and just return from home. Got a counter um, just indicating every time a subroutine is running in the background every second. Just let me know the health of that uh, subroutine. So if I want to pull up another VNC connection, go up to my address line, 192.168.0.10. This is the Wi Fi connection from a PC. And again, I use the same password. One, two, three, six, seven, and now you can see I've got two clients. And here's both my IP addresses shown and the MAC addresses shown. So both connections are currently online. And we could have more connections made. Of course, if you enable the, the whitelist to have the MAC address and the IP address of the client that's coming online. So both screens will, will operate the, the HMI remotely. As I said earlier, be warned on this. Obviously, it's a view and operate, but um, one could use the IP and MAC address from a unique user to identify what sort of level of control or rather monitoring or recipe control. Um, you could use um, within the HMI. So if I take one offline, you can see the other one now tells me I've dropped to this client. The other's gone offline. So the HMI uh, we have a screen that was showing the number of clients, uh, the client's IP address, MAC address, and the counter subroutines. So just an insight to how to get those, those numbers up, because there's some hidden um, system variables that uh, you can use, and some um, function calls in Visual Basic that you can use as well to pull up structures that contain this, this data. <coughs> so, here, if I look to the um, variable I've used, underscore HMI connected VNC client counts, that's just what it says, it tells you how many clients are connected. You can just use that variable straight on the, the screen and it will show you how many clients are connected at that time onto the, uh, onto the server. The IP address and MAC address down here for client one and client two, and this counts of subroutines, I put in a global subroutine. If I look here, this is the basic subroutine that's running. I call it VNC demo. And that is running off a global event. And I've just called the global event to run at an interval of one second. So every second, I'm calling a subroutine called VNC demo. 
Inside there, there's a structure inside HMC VNC client info that gives me the contents of the um, IP address, the MAC address, and the comments of each client that comes online. And I've defined that into a variable name. I've just called SVNC underscore client. If my, if my client count, and again, this is just code I've put in, if my client count equals zero, then I'm going to call them both offline. And these two fields here, if I go back to page zero, this field here is my expression, the IP address. Here's my expression, the MAC address. Here's my expression, client two, IP address. Here's my expression, client two, MAC address. And the number of counts in count underscore heartbeat. So in the subroutine, if I see no clients, then these fields I'm forced into offline. Piece of static text into these fields. If I've got one client, then I'm going to get the client info now that is automatically populated for me. If I look in help, instruction reference, functions, VNC, get connected VNC client services. In this structure here, this embeds three areas, the IP address, comments, and max. And this is what will automatically fill and populate these areas for me. So just a simple if then else will fill that uh, data field out. And I could use that and transport that off to the VLC on machine controller I've got connected. Then at the bottom, counter heartbeat equals counter heartbeat plus one. Just a dummy flag, uh, dummy variable that will go up each time that uh, subroutine is run. So I hope that helps. That's how to connect the VNC to the NA. Thank you.